Hey, what's up, guys? I'm out of the park right now. In my home, back in my hometown. And I've just been thinking about just some things going on in my life, especially around like relationships lately. Um, I grew up in a predominantly white high school. And there, race was always like a, a factor there. Um, whether it was very overt or if it was something that was a little more hidden, you know what I mean? But it's interesting to see how that hasn't really changed too much. I guess the things that I still run into, maybe it's that I'm more sensitive to them, or I'm still sensitive to them, you know what I mean? Although I've been with different people, had relationships with different people, um, and my views on my own worth, I think, have increased. Or as far as like my own value, I see that differently than I did like as a kid. But I still feel like I'm in the similar dynamic between the women that I that I date, right? So on one side, there's the white woman or white presenting woman, right? And then on the other side are black women, more of my kind of girl, right? And the dynamic that I've I've dealt with, I think that still exists, is a weird one because there's a lot of women. For example, there's a lot of white women that have issue in general, right? Of course, of having like being with a black guy, right? There's either from a social pressure standard or they're just not interested, which I think the they're not interested. That's I can, we can kind of discount them out of this whole conversation, right? Everyone has their preferences. As far as the people that feel like there's social pressure against it, right? Even though they may be attracted, I think that's the type of person that I've ended up running into more often. Um, and whether it's pressure from their parents or whatever the case may be, there's always that inherent issue that's there. And that's something that I've dealt with in the past. And yeah, it, it can be frustrating, of course, right? Because you don't want to be, you want to be judged by your own merit and what you bring and not necessarily by other things that don't they affect how you're viewed, of course, but they don't affect how you treat the other person, right? Um, and on the other side, like, I feel like because I've grown up in, like, where I grew up and they're, I've dated white women and I've gone out with those people, right? When I'm with a black girl that isn't from that environment, didn't grow up in a white area. There's this fear or this, um, what's the word? There's this fear and like uh, insecurity, I would say, that comes along where they feel like, oh, well, because you've been with white women, like, oh, I wouldn't want you to cheat on me with a white girl. As though that's somehow different than being cheated on by a black girl, right? But I think it has something to do with the, the whole value pyramid that people see themselves in racially. However, for me personally, it puts me in a weird position because on one side, there's like the people who I am most like, right? But because I've lived in other places where I'm most like, I guess, in facial features and, and culture in many areas. And then on the other side, there's just other people who are, who are not like me. Um, but we might have grown up in a similar environment, right? They're white, but we grew up in a similar environment. So you can relate from that standpoint of understanding where they're coming from, etc. But I'm like stuck in the middle where either direction that you go, there's an issue. Either direction you go, there's, there's some problem about things I don't really think are like the biggest deal because of the fact that you've either been with those people white people or because you're just black yourself and it's just been frustrating dealing with those things and I've been thinking about it specifically because I'm back in my hometown which is kind of like one of the first places that I experienced that in 
and coming back here eight or so years later um, thinking about my experiences now there many of them I, I would say are, are similar along those lines although I'm like I'm definitely much better of a person look I don't know how you should put it I'm definitely more um, I definitely, I definitely attract way more people than I did when I was younger, right? Like, I, I am who I am, of course. But still, that dynamic exists within that. And I think that dynamic is something that's always frustrated me. And it's just interesting to see that that is still in existence, even though I am now significantly more um, desirable than I was, like, when I was first going through those things. But I'm interested to know whether you guys have had similar experiences. Um, yeah, let me know. Tell me your thoughts on this. Am I overthinking this? Um, is it just because I'm going through it at the moment while I'm dealing with that? Or, or what? But yeah, love to hear from you guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for getting to the end of the video. I know it's been a whole year. We've been going through it. We've been improving ourselves, improving the product itself, both in our company as well as the content we make for you guys. I know we've been neglecting this account, but we're going to be posting here more. We also have another account called Unrivaled Media. We'll be posting, well, we have been posting a lot there as well. And we've got some cool game show type things on there. As you can see, the setup's a little bit nicer, better camera, audio's a lot better. So bear with us as we make this transition. I'm glad you guys are all here. You're all watching this. We've got some good things coming. Thank you for finishing the video and I'll see you guys again.